Hi there everybody. This video is going to be a motor testing and review video for some motors that are made by a company that's relatively new to the FPV hobby and less well known, MEPS King Motors. In this video we're going to be looking at the MEPS 2207 and 2306 space motors. I'm going to be taking you through the design of the motor on the bench, running a battery of tests and we're going to be asking the question who are these motors right for and how do they stack up against some of the more established names in FPV motors? It's a lot to cover in one video, so let's dive right into it. All right, so let's take a look at these MEPS King motors on the bench. We have this 2306 size and also a 2207 size motor as well. And both of these motors are available in a range of colors. We've got this orange and gray two-tone anodizing there this magenta and purple two-tone anodizing as well as a gray and copper anodize as well. There's also a painted fluorescent yellow option which is really eye-catching and striking, a bit different from the anodized options. I've taken one of the motors apart to have a look at what the technology is like inside that they're working with and we can see that there's an o-ring that's cushioning the top bearing there, that's standard uh, now I think for motors from all the top manufacturers. We have a steel flux ring, high strength magnets, and it's a unibell design. You can see that the, the bell extends all the way down over the flux ring to minimize the risk of slipped magnets. And they've also got a kind of curved shape to the top of the bell there, which hopefully will allow this motor to shrug off kind of small impact. The machining at the top is nicely done. It's got this nice wave pattern. There looks to be plenty of material there, so the motor should be, uh, should be reasonably durable but of course we'll have to see how it uh, stands up in the hands of pilots. So we've taken a look at these motors on the bench, but it's not just what they look like, it's how they perform. These motors have space written on them, so we need to check if they have rocket ship levels of performance. And for that, we're gonna be doing my standard battery of motor tests using my thrust stand. Um, it's gonna be a prop ramp on an HQ 5 by 45 by 3 prop and a flywheel dyno test as well. So let's dive in and look at some of those results. If you have any questions about the tests used to generate this data, leave a comment down below or check out the video description where I'll link to a video that explains my testing process in a lot more detail. To kick off the test results, let's look at the measured KV. And measured KV is a really simple test. I just run the motor at 10 volts with no load, no prop, and I measure the RPM. Divide the RPM by 10 and you get the KV. Now, I like to see the measured KV coming out very similar to the stated KV on the motor. That shows that the motor manufacturer knows the KV of the motor that they're producing nice and accurately. And what we can see here is that the MEPS motors are coming out a little low on KV. So they're testing at around 1680, 1690 KV, even though nominally they are supposed to be 1750 KV. And this is quite a low KV. So ordinarily for 6S, we would expect to see KVs from maybe 1750 up to 1950 KV. 1950 really more for racing motors, 1750 more for cruising. So we can see that this uh, MEPS space motor is designed more for cruising rather than hardcore racing. The next thing I want to look at is the thrust of the motor. And for this, I run a standard 5 by 4.5 by 3 prop from HQ, run the motor up to 100% throttle and see what thrust it can produce. When comparing the thrust numbers, I've limited this set of results to motors with a similar KV. So we're looking at less than 1800 KV as measured. Obviously the motors with higher KV, 1850, 1900 or 1950 KV will be able to produce a lot more thrust and power than a 1750 KV motor. And so we should expect that. In general, the MEPS King motors perform pretty, pretty middle of the road in terms of thrust for their KV value. So 1750 KV, they are producing a little bit less than some 1750 KV motors, um, a little bit less than the uh, T-Motor Pacer, for example, or the T-Motor Veloce, but a little bit more than, for example, the Mr. Steel or the Emax Eco 2306, uh, or even the iFlight uh, Zing 2 2207 1750 KV. So middle of the road, but if you want power, you're going to want to opt for a higher KV version, maybe the 1950 KV for success. The next thing to look at is efficiency. And I'm measuring efficiency here in terms of watts of mechanical power that the motor produces per watt of electrical power that it consumes at 350 watts of mechanical power output. And 
that 350 watts of mechanical power is pretty much equivalent to a kilo of thrust on my 5x4.5x3 test prop. This is where I think the MEPS 2207 particularly stands out. It's a very efficient motor. You can see it getting 81% efficiency at 350 watts mechanical power. And that's a really great number. And it sets the MEPS motor up to be a great choice for a cruising quad, five inch cruiser, where you're not so worried about maximum power, but you do want really, really high efficiency. The MEPS 2306 is a little bit less efficient, but it still sits up there as one of the more efficient motors, particularly in that 2306 size class. If we look at efficiency over a range of power output from the motor, we can see that the MEPS 2207 really sits a cut above all of the other motors of a similar kV, less than 1800 kV, um, in my testing. And that's really good to see. Again, just focusing on that 2207 as a long range efficient cruising motor, um, just giving you that little bit of extra efficiency, particularly at those lower power levels, you know, between 100 and maybe 300 watts, it's really sitting a nice step above all of the other motors on test. That's going to give you the longer flight times that you're looking for if you're looking for that more cruising type of setup. Looking at the torque and responsiveness of the MEPS motors now, we can see that the 2207 comes out very middle of the road in terms of torque when comparing to motors of a similar kV. And the 2306 is performing quite a bit worse. Obviously, it's a smaller motor um, overall in terms of volume, and so it's going to be able to produce less torque, and that's what we see here. The same is true in terms of responsiveness, how fast the motor can speed up and slow down. It's very important for quads because how fast the motor can respond is going to determine how stable the flight controller is able to hold the quad in the air. And again, the MEPS motor is performing pretty middle of the road in terms of responsiveness, with the 2207 being middle of the road for a 2207, and the 2306 performing a bit worse because it's got that smaller state of volume. The final thing to talk about is weight. And of course, it's no good if a motor performs really well if it's also really heavy, because that extra weight offsets any extra performance that you gain. Fortunately, the MEPS 2207 is not particularly heavy. It's 33.6 grams or so for the 2207, and the 2306 comes in even lighter at 31.1 grams. It's a really lightweight motor, lighter than pretty much any of the other 2306s that I've tested. So that means that that extra efficiency that you're gaining is not really being offset by any extra weight. And so you should just get that benefit in terms of flight time and efficiency overall. So where does that leave the MEPS King motors on my five inch motor leaderboard? Well, the 2306 comes in at 99% and the 2207 comes in at 96%. And so you would think they're, they're middle of the road motors. But that score is actually slightly misleading because these motors have very specific attributes that make them very suited for a particular purpose. These are long range cruising motors. The 2207 especially is going to be really good for this. They're very efficient motors, which means that you're going to get a nice long flight time. They don't give a lot of performance. There's not a lot of thrust, not a lot of power, but they are efficient and lightweight motors. So if you're someone who wants to cruise for a while, fly a long distance, wants the quad to stay in the air for as long as possible, then particularly the 2207 MEPS motor is going to be a great choice. If you're someone who's looking for more response, more power and more thrust, then you should look elsewhere because that's not what these motors offer. They are really tailored for efficiency. If these motors are right for you, there are affiliate links down in the video description where you can pick yours up today and they help support the channel. If you love these data-driven product reviews, please check out my Patreon. You can support me from just a couple of dollars a month and it really goes a long way to helping me do more of these types of videos. That's all that I have for you for today. So until next time, I wish you all very, very happy flying.